Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. Longtime viewers can probably guess what we're doing today by the crown on my head. Yes, the plushy queen is doing a plush haul video. If you tuned in yesterday to the first haul video I've done this week, I told you that Keith and I went to two Goodwills. We spent a total of $86.82 on 54 items for a $1.60 average on each item that we purchased on Sunday. And I showed you the highlights of our clothing. If you missed that, go ahead and watch that. Uh, I will link it down below for you guys. And you can see the highlights of the clothing part of our sourcing. Um, but I got so many new friends on Sunday. I decided to split the haul videos into two parts this week. And just do the plushies on their own. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in here. And I'm going to show you all my new friends I brought home. Uh, my goal is to get all of these photographed on Saturday. And then list them throughout the week next week. And hopefully they'll find their new forever homes. Let's start with baby Squirtle. He is so cute. I'm actually really tempted to keep him. Um, Squirtle is one of my favorite Pokemons. I just think he's so adorable. I love Squirtle. When I used to play Pokemon Go with my kids, I always wanted to catch all the Squirtles. Uh, he has a Japanese tag. I don't know if you can see that. All the writing on his tag is Japanese. So he is... Uh, says ban presto but when you see like the anime or the video game characters or the pokemon characters with japanese writing on their tags i would suggest snatching them up um because they will go for good money this tiny squirtle was 50 cents and i got a big squirtle <laughs> isn't he cute he is uh actual pokemon brand and he was a dollar 99 and I was absolutely willing to pay $1.99 for him. He is official Pokemon brand. He's going to ship first class. Um, I haven't sold him. I haven't sold the Squirtle yet, but I've sold other Pokemons this size for anywhere from $16 to $20. I guess it just depends on the character and how popular they are. Um, but if I keep one of my Squirtles, it will be the baby one I paid 50 cents for. Um, they're both so cute, but this guy is going to be worth some money. So he will go in the store and um, be sent away to his new forever home. Hopefully sooner rather than later. This guy was 50 cents. Um, he's just a plain yellow teddy bear, but he's got the Steelers on him. The brand is Good Stuff. I've had plushies from Good Stuff before. It really just, it, the brand isn't anything I would say to look for when you're outsourcing. Um, but Good Stuff does make a lot of um, plushies I've picked up because they're like Steelers or pop culture characters. A lot of these plush I'm going to show you, I did get for 50 cents. Um, Longtime viewers, you've heard of the buggy at the front of our Goodwill that's closest to our house. They dump plush in there. Um, I guess that they're trying to get rid of and they're all 50 cents each. They used to be three for a dollar, so I used to get them for like 33 cents. And then a couple months ago, they raised them to 50 cents a piece. But still, 50 cents each for plushies is a really good deal. And like I said, they just don't plush them that they're trying to get rid of. So some weeks, I mean, it's hit or miss. There's some weeks where I dig through there and there's not, not really anything but Beanie Babies. And then there's weeks where it's just a uh, gold mine. And I like strike, uh, strike gold, I guess is what I want to say. Um, so I'll, I'll just keep going and showing you guys. Um, this guy was 50 cents. He's a Disney character. I'm not entirely sure who he is. If anyone knows who he is, please let me know down below in the comments. There are a lot of Disney shows and Disney Junior shows that I'm not familiar with. Uh, currently, my kids are 17 and almost 15, and both boys. So uh, a lot of the Disney, the newer Disney characters, I'm not familiar with. I'm just I know like all the ones from the movies. But if you know who he is, let me know. Um, but being that he was official Disney and 50 cents. I definitely picked him up. He's cute. I think he's a skunk. I don't know what he is. If you know what he is or who he is or where he's from, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, I will just do the research and find out for myself. This guy's cool. He is a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. He's got pulsable bendy legs. And he is uh, official from Hershey Park. Um, his tag says... I hate this lighting, guys. His tag, if you can see it, it says the Petting Zoo, which is part of the Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I've been there many... Oh, his arms move too. I didn't know that. <laughs> How exciting. His arms are possible too. Um, I don't know why I didn't play with those earlier. Just his legs. 
He is like super cool. Um, yeah, I've been to the Hershey um, theme park a lot of times. When I used to take care of adults with disabilities in um, York and uh, Maryland, we used to drive them to Hershey and take them on the chocolate ride. It's really a cool ride. They kind of show you the behind the scenes of factory work in the Hershey Park and get free chocolate. Um, I loved going on that tour. It was always fun. But the actual Hershey Park has like a petting zoo. It's really cool. I actually went on a field trip a couple times as a chaperone with my kids too. Um, so it may say the petting zoo. So those of you that aren't familiar, that is official Hershey Park. It's just the petting zoo part. Uh, this Peter Rabbit was 50 cents. Oh, the Hershey bar was $1.99. I think I forgot to tell you how much I paid for him. Um, I found Peter Rabbit for 50 cents. Um, I do well with Peter Rabbit stuff. I've had like magnets and cups and plushies, books. I think people still really like Peter Rabbit. So for 50 cents, of course, I snagged him. You guys are all familiar with her. This is Dory from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. And this is a TY Sparkle Dory. And if you can see that, she's a TY Sparkle Dory. She's got some writing on her tag, so I'll just disclose that. I've never had any luck getting permanent marker off of the tush tags. I've tried awesome. I've just never had any luck with it, so I usually just disclose that there's writing on there. Um, but yeah, she was 50 cents. And then we have this beautiful Minnie Mouse in her sparkly pink shoes. And she's got her sparkly pink and white polka dot dress on and matching bow on her head. Um, she's got a little bit of damage here. I don't know if you can see that. Like the bow is supposed to be sewn onto her ear on both sides. And on that side it's come loose. So I'll just disclose that in the listing and probably knock a buck or two off for the damage. The bow is hard. I don't know what's going on there. It's a hard bow. Um, but she was, uh, I believe, 99 cents. Got her off the shelf, not out of the cart. But yeah. And her tushy tag. Let's look at that real quick. It is official Disney. If you guys can see that. So I paid 99 cents for her. I still don't know what's going on with that bow. I've never seen her with a hard bow before. All right, this is a feisty pit. You guys have probably seen these um, on the internet. They're all the craze now. This guy, I'm gonna have to figure out. Oh, I did, I figured it out. So you squish him. Isn't he cute? I think he's a narwhal. I have no idea what he is. But I have seen these on the internet. And I've seen them on Facebook ads and all over the place. They're pretty popular. They have unicorns and this guy. They have a whole bunch of different characters. I think I even saw a panda bear. But the whole point of the feisty pet is that they have stuffed attitude and they're supposed to look really, really cute until you make them mean. And I actually have always wanted one of these. He was 50 cents, guys. You see that? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep him or not though because I'm sure he's worth a good bet. He is Billy Blubberbutt. <laughs> I have to laugh at that. His name is Billy Blubberbutt. His likes are fencing, spearfishing, and cuddling, and he dislikes unicorns, scales, and root canals. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy is just so cute. I could just play with him all day. Isn't he cute? I think he's a, I don't know what he is. Is he a narwhal? All right, let's, let's put Billy Blubberbutt aside, or I will turn into a 12-year-old and sit here and play with him all day. Guys, I love plush. I love flipping plush. They are so fun to do. Do you guys remember the, um, she's seen better days, but that's okay. Do you guys remember Alice, baby Alice on Sesame Street? She was like the female Snuffleupagus. Um, her tag, it's applause. And she's from, she's baby Alice. I'm trying to find the year. Muppets. 1980 I can't read it but she is vintage um, her tag is very similar do you guys remember my gremlin I had the vintage applause from the 1980s um, so she is vintage it says Muppets and baby Alice on her tag and the best part is she was in the 50 cent bin can you see that so of course I snatched her up I mean like I said she's looks like she's seen some better days she's a little squished um, her hair's a little 
out of control. But she's like as old as I am, almost. So for 50 cents, um, someone's going to want her, definitely, and going to give her a new home and just love her. She's cute. And then I just grabbed him because he has his code. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the GANs. The Gans Webkins. Um, I pick these up when I find them for under a dollar, even if they don't have their code. They sell anywhere from 10 to 15, depending on the character. Again, I think it's based on um, the popularity of the animal, uh, which plus you have. I But I pick them up for 50 cents, like I said, and I'll sell them anywhere from 10, 12, 15. It just depends. Now, if they have their code intact and sealed, they are worth more money people will pay more and if you look these up on eBay um, the Gans Webkins you'll actually see that it's common practice in the title to put no code or seals code um, they're just very popular people buy these all the time and like I said you can list them even if they don't have their code if you can find them cheap enough and even if you get the $12 ones it's it's a good fast flip people do still love these Gans Webkins and again he was only 50 cents he is a Scottish Terrier dog, so we'll have to look him up and see what he's worth with his code. Um, but yeah, I never pass up on the Webkins unless they're like more than a dollar. But if I find them for like a dollar or 50 cents, code or no code, I will grab them. So that's a bullet for you guys. And again, like I said, look them up on eBay. Um, they're pretty popular and um, people put in the title code or no code because that's what the collectors are looking for. And then we have this Simba. Uh, Simba has probably seen better days. The hair on his tail and the hair on his head looks pretty matted. But he is an official Disney plush. He was 50 cents. And I believe he's the Lion King, um, the Simba from the Broadway Lion King. I did post a picture of the plush I got on Instagram and there were a couple comments about him. Um, so, I forget what they call them. Somebody called him something specific. I guess it has to do with the Broadway musical Lion King. But, so for 50 cents, even with his matted hair, he's still really cute. And he's from a popular movie or a popular Broadway play. People love uh, Disney Plush in general. But people still really love the Lion King and the Lion King characters. I do really well with them. And we're coming to the last plush of the video. Um, I saved it to the end because I was so excited. Look at this giant Tigger. He was $1.99. Can you believe it? Usually plush um, this popular of characters and this large at my Goodwills are usually marked like $4.99 and sometimes $8.99 or $9.99. Um, crazy prices. But for some reason, this guy was marked $1.99. Can you believe that? Of course, I snagged him up. He is um, Fisher Price, so he's not official Disney, but that's okay. Um, I don't even know if you can see that. But I had a giant Winnie the Pooh like this that was Fisher Price, and I sold it for $25 plus shipping. Um, I listed it at 30 with calculated shipping and they offered me 25 um, and I accepted it and that Winnie the Pooh went maybe three days after I listed it. It was right around the craze of the movie coming out. I still have another giant Pooh sitting in my store that hasn't sold yet, um, but I have sold the giant characters like this, um, even if they're Fisher Price and not official Disney brand, for a good bit of money. And for $1.99, I'm not going to pass up a giant Tigger. I'm just not. Look at him. He is so cool. So that is the end of my plush haul. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And do you guys put plush? What kind of plush are you finding? What are you paying for it? What are you getting for it? Do you get excited about it? And do you act like a 12 year old like me and play with your new toys? Look at this guy. I think I'm gonna keep him. Eh. <laughs> All right guys, do me a favor before you leave and smash the like button if you would. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed all of our hungry hippos. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.